Right, what we're going to have to do is a succulent diced beef done in the tea fowl. Cook for me. And honestly, these come out absolutely gorgeous. So succulent and tender. Really nice. First crack on with it. Right, first thing to do, cut a couple of small onions. These are going to go in with a base in the stock. the beef in there uh, cook for me it comes out so so tender it really is nice um, you can do beef pieces like we've got like the diced beef there you can even do a full bite in there as well all nice right let's get on with it so just a tad oil not much tad oil in there we get the Start the recipe, so that's preheating. So I see it going on in now. Might as well go in while it's preheating. I'll just grab a little spoon thing. I'm going to get that a little mix around just to coat the oil a little bit so it doesn't stick. Well, it doesn't anyway, like, but it gives it a little bit of a coat in there. That's that. And it's coating away lovely there, so it's browning off. I've got the meat in there. All brown enough now. This also makes an absolute lovely casserole, casserole as well. If you do it exactly the same way, but then add some um, carrots, potatoes, and bits and pieces in with it, and it comes out really nice as well. I'll just quickly show you what we're going to be serving up with today. What we're going to have, we're going to have some collie, some beans for the garden, from the garden, a little bit of the leaves off the collie because I didn't have any cabbage. Some baby carrots and a few sprouts there. Oh, and mashed potatoes and some roasties were done earlier. So that's what we're going to be serving up with. Yeah, it's coming away lovely there now. Right, so that's the, the meat just about browned up. So I'll get them onions in. Get them in now. A little bit mix them out. And what I've made up as well, I've just made a little, a little bit stock up. So what we're doing now, we're going to get the stock in there. I'll quickly show you that, so there's a the stock in there. And basically, that's it. You're now going to let the tea fall do what it needs to do. Or oh, actually, just add a little bit of pepper as well. It's bubbling away lovely there, so a little bit of pepper. In and taste. Cool with the liquid, which we've done. And then set that for 30 minutes. Close the lid. So it's preheating there now, which shouldn't take too long because it was hot liquid I've put in it. But it's preheating away there. So any minute now, it should pop into the cooking mode. You see the steam starting to come out the top already. And there, uh, but it will be so tender. Two little ducks on there. Fridge pickers, wear big knickers. You never trust a skinny cook. That's so true. <laughs> Pushing now over here, of course. So, just let it do its thing now. Great, these little tea fowl cook for me. Great, get a kit. And it's ready. Time to serve. Look at that. There you go. Succulent, tender, diced beef for our dinner. Look at that. How nice is that? And so easy. In the tea farm, cook for me. What's it called? Cook for me. Look at that. Lovely.